This is the third generation of my evolutionary simulation. The system contains two types of organisms, herbivores and carnivores. The difference between the two types is indicated with a little marker on the right of every organism that is red for carnivores and green for herbivores. The herbivores eat food that is spread out over the entire environment in a grid. They do this simply by moving on top of a square that contains food. The food grows back over time. The carnivores can eat both herbivores and other carnivores. They do this by running quickly into the other organism. A successful attack takes life from the target organism and transfers it to the attacker. Periodically throughout the simulation, organisms can produce asexually and spawn two mutated copies of themselves. Also done periodically, two successful organisms are chosen at random, their genes are combined using crossover mutation, and the resulting child is then added to the environment. The health of every organism is indicated with a green bar on the right of every organism. Health decreases slowly over time, and when it reaches zero, the organism is removed. The brain of every organism contains 16 sensors, 7 actuators, and internal variables that organisms can use for memory. The sensors are made up of three eyes and some additional information that can be helpful to the organism. Two eyes are placed in the front, and one eye is placed in the back. The eyes can detect the amount of red, green, and blue light in their direction, and they also contain proximity sensors. The outputs control the speed and direction of the agent, the amount of red, green, and blue light it is to emit, the spike length that is proportional to the damage a carnivore can do with every attack, and a boost actuator that can speed the organism up by a factor of two, but at the cost of a lot of health. The brain of an organism is a dynamical system that handles the input-output mapping and is basically composed of a set of rules. Roughly speaking, every rule looks like if sensor 1 is greater than 0.5 and sensor 2 is roughly 0.3 and internal variable 3 is lower than 0.1, then increment output 1 by 0.1 increment output 3 by 0.01, and increment internal variable 4 by negative 0.02. Every iteration, every rule whose condition is satisfied, has its effect applied. Visualization of the inputs, internal variables, and the outputs is shown below the selected organisms in rows. The final display at the bottom shows which rules in the brain are currently active. This segment shows the simulation in the very beginning, when it is started with organisms that have random brains. When the system is left to evolve, interesting behaviors can be observed. Perhaps surprisingly, carnivores are usually very quick to develop basic hunting techniques by simply steering in the direction in which they detect something. The next ability that usually evolves is that the carnivores start to avoid eating things of the same color that they emit. This prevents them from eating their own descendants. They do this by either steering away or retracting their spike and therefore causing no damage. Likewise, herbivores can often be seen to run away when they detect something around them, and they can even start to impersonate the carnivores by emitting the same light and therefore avoid being eaten. In this particular example, all carnivores emit red, and all herbivores emit green light. You can see that carnivores tend to avoid red things, but steer towards and eat green things. Also, herbivores steer away and run from red things. Finally, if we plot the number of carnivores and herbivores as a function of time, familiar patterns of predator-prey cycles can be seen to emerge. The code is a Visual C++ 2008 project, is open source and can be easily downloaded on Google Code. Also associated with the project is a Google group. I encourage people to contribute ideas or ask questions there. If you try out the code, let me know if you find some interesting behavior. Finally, I would be glad to post modifications of the simulation if anyone sends me some in the future.